Bob McAdoo comes in the ball game. He was 0 for 5 in the last game, and he's had hot and cold games, and really most of them have been cold. And it's very important for McAdoo personally to do well in these playoffs because he's been a rumor of a lot of trade talk. This man really set a tempo for this ball club by way of being physical in that second uh, ball game when they won. He showed the way for the rest of them and gave the Lakers a new macho image. He has seen important minutes both as a backup for Kareem and as a power forward. Physical presence is counted. One of two for Vince Kupchak. 3.20 to go in the first period. Celtics are shooting only two of nine from outside. You know, when you do get tired, the outside shooting is really from your legs. Harris inside. And if your legs are tired, you're going to be off in your outside shooting. A delay of the game Boston. warning to Boston. That's one way to slow up the Laker fence break, isn't it? When they try to rip it out of the net quickly, Boston tipping it away. The referee's alert to that. That's an old cheating trick. Three minutes to go, first period. Lakers by five. 21 to 16. Kupchak trying to post up. Harris gets a hand on it. Not a good pass back to Magic Johnson, who misses the shot. Dennis Johnson trying to get on track. Against Cooper, it's going to be tough. Aim. Less than two and a half to go in the first period. Kupchak has his shot blocked inside by McHale and Parrish. And now the Celtics have it again to try and cut it to three. McHale banks it in beautifully. Nine points for Kevin McHale. Nine of the Celtics, 18. And now Pat Riley wants to talk it over. 2.04 remaining in the first period. A beautiful look of downtown Boston, the Charles River with the boats and the skyscraper aspect of one of the more beautiful cities in America, in the Northeast. And we're here at Boston Garden, where a capacity crowd watching game six. Here we're going to see how the Lakers are going to out eat gang rebound the, uh, the Celtics. Look at four of them in there. One, two, three, four against two Celtics. But the advantage is Magic getting a rebound and how quickly he can convert that into a fast break opportunity. A double-edged weapon the Lakers are using on the Celtics. And the Celtic guards are shooting one for ten. Ainge is the only guard to take a basket. We have under two minutes to play in the first period. The Lakers win. They're the world champions. The Celtics win. We go to seven. McAdoo. Short. Kupchak crashes the board. Now that was really an aggressive rebound. He should have been blocked out. Worthy hits from outside for six points in the game. Keep in mind Worthy coming off a 33-point effort on 13 of 17 from the field. Cooper's going to take Dennis Johnson's outside shot away from him just by that tactic of hawking him. Double on Parrish. Foul inside. Kupchak is a bull in this series. Here's why. This is the type of thing coaches dream of. Watch Kupchak now inside. Uh, it goes through, but he's ever ready to block somebody, put him on his back, and come up with the rebound. He's charging to the boards. McAdoo's foul. Mike McGee has come in the ball game for the Lakers. As Scott Wedman answers that substitution, he has played the most time of any of the reserves, and Danny Ainge goes out. But right now, Tommy with McAdoo, Cooper, McGee, and Worthy, no secret what the Lakers' greyhounds are out to do here. They're trying to really put the pace to him right now, and with Wedman in the backcourt, they might succeed. The time remaining in the first period. 23 to 20, the Lakers. Against Bird, McAdoo goes inside. Lost control. No basket. He caught his own pass, which you can't do. McAdoo went up and caught his own pass. Turns it over to the Celtics. The Celtics have not had the lead in this first period. They've trailed all the way. Harris over McAdoo. That was a tough shot. Well, they'll take advantage of McAdoo, the Celtics, in the low post. Cooper. And McHale 
Durant can give the Celtics their first lead, but throws it away. Larry Bird stopped running on that one. He was wide open. 42 seconds and 13 on the shot clock. Off the screen, McAdoo. And crashing the boards is Mitch Kupchak, and I think they're going to call him for it on that. Uh, Pat Riley not unhappy with that foul. He wants to see that aggressiveness. It's been a series in which the Lakers early answered the question, can they handle the aggressiveness and intimidation and confrontation that the Celtics put on them last year? And the Lakers have been the leaders in this series. I think they've been doing it primarily with the rotation of people. They got more people to play, more fouls to use. Celtics trying to play fewer people. They're worried about their big guys getting in foul trouble. They changed the call to McGee of the personal foul. Both Kupchak and McGee were underneath. And McHale now has 10 points and an early appearance for Greg Kite, who's the only healthy big man the Celtics have off the bench. I'll tell you, Greg Kite will play probably 36 uh, seconds, really. Uh, just long enough for Parrish to take a timeout here and around the quarter timeout. And Casey Jones using those to give Parrish an extra blow. That's how you cheat for minutes to give a guy a rest. The Celtics are on a 10-2 run right now and have their first lead of the ball game. 24-23, it doesn't last long as Worthy comes back. And Earl Strong is warning, I believe, Mitch Kupchak on something. McHale. The Lakers can get the last shot off of the period, but the Celtics lead by one. Boy, do they hang in there. That's one of the worst quarters I've seen for outside shooting, and they're up by a point. That's the significant fact here. Cooper runs into Wedman. They call a block. It is a Celtic foul on Scott Wedman. Here's what they warn Kupchak about. He gets tight right around the arm and holds him and doesn't allow him to take the ball out of bounds. Say, don't get that physical pal or you're going to be out of here. Cooper. The basket was good. So the Lakers are up now by two points. Dennis Johnson winds up on the seat of his pants on the sideline as the buzzer goes off. So the basket counted. And Wedman had committed the foul, and that is the end of the first period.